What's up, YouTube Fragrance family? Tommy with Studio Sense here with a kind of special segment video. It is about discontinued fragrances. Now, if you're just getting started with your fragrance journey and you have a bottle of cool water and fierce sitting on the shelf, I'm actually kind of excited for you because this is what you're gonna run into, discontinued fragrances and that particular feeling or sensation of owning of a discontinued fragrance. There's something that feels complete uh, or very satisfying, at least owning a fragrance that is somewhat rare. So when we come back, we're gonna be talking about 10 fragrances that are discontinued. However, most of them you can still get your hands on. And those particular ones, I will link in the description below so that you can click, buy and own and have that sense of satisfaction. That and more is coming up, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. So today we're talking about discontinued fragrances. Right now flashing across your screen are some very big discontinued fragrances. Ones that I call ridiculously priced because Amazon and eBay still have them for upwards of three, four hundred dollars. And while these are epic fragrances, they are definitely not worth that. Unless you have just money to throw away, then sure, why not? get them, purchase them, someone is. But the fragrances that we're talking about today are not necessarily in that particular category of discontinued scents. These are in most cases still available and the ones that aren't, I'll let you know in advance so you don't waste a ton of time looking for them. The first fragrance we're gonna talk about was launched in 2015 by the house of Guerlain and it is L'Homme Ideal Cologne. This is one of the best marriages of almond and citrus ever, I call it the unbearable lightness of being in a bottle. It's so good. It's such a spring and summer wonder with grapefruit, orange, almond, neroli, vetiver, and musk. It's a fantastic, again, citrus, it's kind of a musky almond citrus fragrance that's perfect for any occasion, but specifically for spring and summer. It used to be in rack stores everywhere, and I'm really sad that I only got the 50 ml bottle. That's all that they had left when I went to purchase it and when I'm out of this, probably be out of luck because they're gonna be really hard to find. It's actually, oddly enough, Ash of Jensen's was with me when I purchased this bottle, so it has some nostalgic value too because it's been many years ago. And while the DNA is still kept alive in this line, there's not been a fragrance quite like Lomidial Cologne. Our next scent I've talked about several times on my channel. It is an Angel for Men scent by Terry Mugler, Pure Tonka. This one right here, it just pings the three R's of men's fragrance that is rough, resinous, and ready. It starts out thick and heady like the wart of a high gravity microbrew and then quickly dissipates into kind of a burly, darker, licorice-like dry down that is all pure Tonka. Even though they're part of the formula, it pretty much swallows up any rosemary and lavender. I don't really get that. Primarily what you're getting is Venezuelan Tonka bean and then you've got that warm patchouli, that darker patchouli, and that rich vanilla. Count yourself lucky if you own this because this is one that you cannot find. And if you do find it again, it's gonna be at those ridiculous eBay and Amazon prices. Terry Mugler's Angel for Men Pure Tonka. Our next discontinued scent I really enjoy. And a lot of people put it head to head with Prada Loam simply because it's very similar to that. It is, I think, 20 of, I think it's a 2014 release by Christian Dior. It is Dior Homme O. Now, this is one of those galvanizing fragrances that some people like, some people don't. It's been called like um, Powder Puff Metro, but that's just because a lot of people equate that iris to feminine, but truly discerning noses know that that's literally just the affluent heritage of the Christian Dior DNA. And this is the summer side of that DNA, basically. A simplistic scent profile of bergamot, grapefruit, coriander, iris, and cedar. That's literally it, but very highly tuned a very refined fragrance, again, perfect for spring and summer. This is one of those that's kind of cyclical. You'll see it pop up at discounters every now and then, you know, when they find some stock of it. So make sure that you sign up with all those discounters so that you're notified because one day you're gonna get that email and you'll wanna run out and grab this one. Dior Homme O by Christian Dior. Our next discontinued fragrance is one I've talked about many times on this channel and I can't get enough of it. I really, really enjoy this one. It's been called the Vanilla Killer, the Vanilla Bomb. It is from Mercedes-Benz. It is Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Now the bergamot in this is kind of like the doorman to a 3 a.m. rave. I simply don't smell it, but it's there. Mostly what you get in this is vanilla, 24-7, 365, center stage. Supported by frankincense, jasmine, and some woods, and the agent and promoter and provocateur of all these notes is 
and Broxen. And then all of these notes are fixed into place by a very sweet, warm Benzoin, which is Styrax, basically pulls everything together and makes a perfectly blended, very loud fall and winter fragrance. Mercedes-Benz Club Black is also one of those that seems to come and go in cycles. There's sometimes you can find them at discounters, sometimes you can't grab it up right now while you can because getting harder and harder to find this one in one day is just gonna be gone. Mercedes-Benz Club Black. This next discontinued fragrance, I feel like it was kind of a limited edition release anyway. We're going to call it discontinued because it's such a great fragrance and I wish it was still being produced. It is a Roberto Cavalli fragrance in the Womo line. Remember the four fragrances that were kind of released in tandem? This one is Womo Lenate. Lenate, it always makes me think of that uh, Disney Lady in the Tramp song, Bella Nate, which I think is Beautiful Night. So Lenate is the night and Womo is man. So this is either man of the night or the night man. You take your pick. But it's an epic, gourmand, seductive date night scent. It's very similar to the gradation of nightfall or evening as the sun sets and it gets darker because it starts out with a little bit of a lighter side of notes. We've got bergamot, lavender, cardamom, and clary sage. And then it quickly goes into darker territory with patchouli, tonka bean, and a fine, fine leather. This is a extremely masculine, seductive, magnetic. You know, it has that magnetic draw to it kind of fragrance and I truly wish they were manufacturing it still because a lot of people haven't experienced Lenate and it's an epic scent the entire line uh, actually of Womo fragrances this one is still around though it's getting harder and harder to find again I recommend as all the others if you find this grab it up for our next discontinued fragrance, if you're a fan of musky fragrances that kind of ride that fine line between masculine and feminine, the Narciso Rodriguez for him, the OG flagship fragrance, is discontinued. However, the good news is that there are still some out there. You can get it, I think, at Hudson's Bay, although it's they're asking kind of a bit much for it. Um, the original price for this was, for discounters anyway, was right around... 40, 45 bucks, 50 bucks. You can get it for 113 bucks or so, I think off Hudson's Bay. And there's other websites that feature this at a better price, but it's a really great blend of floral, damp, musky, concrete type notes. It's definitely very Francis Kirkjohn. If you know his work, Baccarat Rouge. 540. This is very, not similar to that fragrance, but it has that kind of vibe or feel to it. Lavender, violet, musk, amber, and patchouli. So you don't really get the sense of what this fragrance is like with those fragrance notes just being rattled off. Definitely niche-like quality for a designer price. Grab it up while you can because the Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum have both been discontinued. Narciso Rodriguez for him. In this video, I'm going to be featuring two fragrances by One House that have been discontinued by Paco Rabanne. This next fragrance is one of those that you didn't see it on the scene for a long time. It was discontinued and then suddenly a stock of them was found and it popped up at discounters everywhere a few months ago. The fragrance I'm talking about is Ultra Red Man. While it looks like a ray gun from Logan's Run back in the 1970s, that movie, uh, it's definitely a wonderful praline gourmand fragrance. It's got that very, some people say creamsicle, dreamsicle, orange feel to it. And it does kind of sort of have that feel to it, but it's just basically a gourmand fragrance with a little bit of praline, amber, and patchouli. This fragrance is still one of those that pops up here and there. It's kind of like whack-a-mole. You don't know when it's going to pop up or where it's going to be, but you want to be prepared for it so you can... You know, throw your club down and grab one because it's a great, kind of like a light gourmand, similar to Lolita Limpica's Green Lover. It's got that same kind of creamy vibe or sense to it. Blood orange, praline, tonka bean, patchouli, and vanilla comprise the fragrance DNA, and it's extremely pleasing. And this one as a gourmand fragrance can actually be used in spring and summer, those cooler nights of, of spring and summer, and in fall, and of course, cooler weather. It's perfect. Ultra Red Man by Paco Rabanne. As tobacco fragrances go, our next discontinued fragrance is one of those light tobacco fragrances, extremely mature, masculine, and all Versace. It is Versace Man. Now this one is a tester. I don't have the lid for it, so excuse that. Actually being a tester, I can read the notes on the back of it. It's got top notes of neroli, bergamot, angelica, and black pepper with a heart of saffron and cardamom. In the bottom, it carries amber. It's got living tobacco leaves interesting, uh, labdanum and cashmere. So it's got some interesting notes, but it's kind of like, it sounds like a fall and winter fragrance, but it is not. It is a year round scent, but it's on the lighter side. So it's a light 
tobacco scent that has some really good longevity. I was sad to see this one go because again, it's one of those that not a lot of people have experienced. And if you haven't experienced it, then you're kind of missing out on a really good thing. Truly hard to find this one. Good luck, you know, actually finding it. You type in Versace Man, it always pulls up Versace Eau Fraiche because it looks very similar. That's blue. This is a darker color, much more mature. Versace Eau Fraiche is a youthful fragrance. This one I really think uh, should still be in production because tobacco fragrances, they never go out of style. Our next discontinued scent is the second one of Paco Rabanne that we're going to be talking about. It is the holiday, somewhat holiday festive. I know you think of a lot of things when I think of this fragrance. I just think of nice fall, winter, cooler weather. It is Paco Rabanne's One Million Privé. Several months ago, there was talk about this being discontinued. Paco Rabanne said they weren't going to discontinue it. Now you cannot find this at any website. Uh, pretty much most discounters are out of this. Oddly enough, when you go to Paco Rabanne's website, they still have One Million Privé for women, but they don't have it for men. Getting harder and harder to find. I've had a bottle before. This is a fairly new bottle, and I literally think I bought Fragrance Net's last bottle. This I paid over 100 bucks for. Six, seven months ago, you could get this for 75, 80 bucks. One million Privé is getting harder to find at a good price. I highly recommend. I saw a couple of guys on forums say, should I get this for a really good deal for this? You're going to kick yourself later if you don't pick it up now when you see it. A lot of people don't realize that One Million Privé is actually a tobacco fragrance. It's well known for being a spicy scent, but it's actually got that shisha tobacco in the heart of the fragrance that kind of carries and supports the other darker, richer, sweet notes. It's a spicy, sweet, cinnamon, cookie lovers, holiday festive kind of fragrance carries that vibe to it. And while many consider the scent DNA played out, I think it's a wonderful scent. Excellent projection and sillage, great long lasting fragrance. So if you like those two things about your fragrances, performance, One Million Privé definitely has it in spades. But I wish you could still get it on the website and they were producing more of it. Our last scent is not gonna seem like it's a discontinued scent because it's been around for so long. YouTubers are reviewing it and promoting it still. It's an epic aquatic fragrance by Bulgari and it is a lot of people's first experience with aquatic fragrances. It is Aqua Amara. That's right, the OG Pebble realistic marine aquatic fragrance. This little pebble of a seaside wonder has that very marine fresh lightly salty feel to it. And this is another one of those fragrances that's oddly galvanizing. Some people think it's cheap, bitter, synthetic, the worst thing they've ever smelled, and other people swear by it being their absolute favorite fragrance of all time. So really, you be the judge. You know, it's got kind of an orange kind of feel to it, kind of an orange side of an aquatic fragrance. It's not quite as salty or briny as a lot of aquatic fragrance, modern aquatic fragrances are. So if you don't, you know, like your brine or your salt, You'll like this very easily. It's super easy to wear anytime, but it's primarily a spring and summer fragrance. Now this is still being carried pretty much everywhere you look. But the reason I'm bringing it up as a discontinued fragrance is it's been like this for a long time. If you're wanting to get this fragrance, now is the time. I will link again in the description where you can purchase this now. Grab it up because one day you're gonna go to grab it and there's not gonna be any Aqua Amara left. Well guys, that's it for my 10 discontinued fragrances that I still wish were in production today. Many of them you can still run out and grab. They're gonna get harder and harder to find as time goes on. If you have any of these fragrances that you enjoy, let me know why you enjoy them. And if you feel like there are other fragrances out there that you really enjoy that you wish hadn't been discontinued, please let me know that in the comments below as well. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video. And as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with StudioSense, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you